and welcome back to Supernovas Online. I can't believe it's been a whole week and I'm so happy to see you all again. Hello everybody. Okay, so before we kick off this week's episode, we are going to have a look at what you guys have been doing this week on Supernovas Online. To start off with, we've got the lovely Garfield family. We've got William, James, Rose and Ruby doing a lovely bit of worship. And I love that Daddy's getting involved as well. Really, really well done. And then we've got Zeph and Maya who are also enjoying a bit of worship, getting their instruments out. Love that, love that. And Zeph has also made a wonderful shield of faith. And I love it has a big cross in it to remind us that we have the shield of faith because of what Jesus has done for us. I love that. And then we've got Evie who has made a breastplate of righteousness to go with her shield of faith and it looks absolutely fantastic. I love that it matches. And we've got Mikey who has also made a breastplate of righteousness. I love that. Really, really, really well done. Very nicely decorated. And then we're going to head over to Midhurst. We're going to head over to the Bishop family. And they have done our Lego challenge. Look how big their towers are. Amazing. Really, really, really well done. Fab job, I wonder who won. And the bishops have also made a breastplate of righteousness to go with their shield. And don't they look absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Really, really, really good job. Wow, it looked like you guys had so much fun. And those crafts look absolutely fantastic. Now, as always, make sure if you do our craft this week that you get a grown-up to take a picture and send it to us. Then you can appear on next week's episode, which will be really exciting. And you have to try and spot yourself, spot your friends friends give a little shout out to your friends great so without further ado i'm gonna hand over to hannah oh what was that <gasps> breaking news from supernovas hq everybody apparently this week we have two new hosts not hannah at all i, I wonder who they could be hello everyone my name is sophie and i'm lou and, and we're we are from, from the haven site, site. Today on Supernovas Online, we're going to be talking about the Sword of the Spirit. Oh, sword! I've got one of those! Ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, Lou, not oh. that kind of sword. Hmm. Okay. Ready, uh, Would this <gasps> work better? Ooh. Ready? Mm. <gasps> what? <laughs> Lou, that's a bubble wand. We need a sword of the spirit. Oh, okay, maybe my lightsaber would work. Oh, uh, I don't think you really understand about the sword of the spirit, do you, Lou? I don't think I do. Okay, but that's given me a great idea for our supernovas challenge this week. Uh, Come on, everybody, up on your feet. See if you can grab a sword or a lightsaber or a magic wand. Yep. And we are going to do some lightsaber lunges and see how many we can do in one minute. Woohoo! Go, go and find one. Go, go, go! Supernova's Challenge. Okay, so have you got your sword, magic wand, or whatever you've got? If you've got a lightsaber like me, that's fantastic. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stand with your feet apart, put your weapon in front of you, and then you're gonna jump to the side and lunge, and then back to the middle, and then go to the other side, jump to the side, and back to the middle. And you're gonna do that for a whole minute. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go!
out. Me too. Is it time for a sleep yet? No, silly. It's time for dancing and singing and praising God, which is my favourite part. Jill. Oh, that's my favourite part too. Don't forget, if you don't know the words, follow the actions. <laughs> Welcome back everybody and welcome to worship time. So I invite you all to stand up. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now give me a little shake. That's it. A little stretch. A little lean. A little lean. Okay. Let's go. We're going to start off with my lighthouse. Let's see how well you can remember it. Let's see your best marching. In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa -oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea Good marching! In the silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa -oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea Ready to sing my lighthouse My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you Forever free in an ending 
ready for the chorus? Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love never ending. Oh, oh, oh. Get ready to jump. You are alive in us. Nothing can take your place. Get jumping. You are Your love be the shining light, breaking chains that were holding me. You sent your sun down to set me free. Everything of this world will fade. I'm pressing on till I see your face. I will live, and your will be done. I won't stop till your kingdom come. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. the armor of god over the last few weeks we've learned about the shield of faith the breastplate of righteousness and today we're going to be learning about the sword of the spirit so we're going to carry on learning our song about the armor of god are we ready are we steady let's do it hey, let's march. Oh, who's got their armor on we've got our armor on peace by peace we'll put it on peace by peace we'll put Yeah. 
Yes? Ready to train you I am. But I already know how to use my lightsaber. Ah, today a different sword it will be. That's a book. I can't fight with a book. Yes, it is the best weapon you will ever have, so it is. Have you ever felt like everything in your day is just going wrong? Sometimes. Well, the Bible shows you all sorts of things that have been spoken by God himself to different people throughout time, and it can help you in times of need. So what you're saying is that through the Bible, God speaks to us and gives us good things and supportive things? Yes. Oh, okay. So what if I was super duper tired can the bible help me with that indeed it can in god's word it says those who trust in the lord will become strong again okay what if i was feeling unwell in god's word it says my god will give you everything you need everything you need hmm okay so, there is something that I have been worrying a little bit about. Oh yes, and what is that? Mm, well, some of my friends have gone back to school, and I don't know when I'll be able to see my friends again. Well, in God's word it says, give your worries to God. And so, oh. you can use this verse to bring you comfort in times of need, and this book will always be there for to guide you down the right path, to help you make good decisions, and to live according to Jesus' example. So, my lightsaber can't do that. But what you're saying is, that book can help me guide me down the right paths, especially when I have to make decisions, help me to live a good life, and... One. To live by Jesus' example. To live by Jesus' example. Hmm. Maybe that isn't such a bad weapon after all. My work here is done. Sword of the Spirit. I have everything I need right here. What's wrong, Lou? I'm, I'm just really worried about my friend. Oh, I've got something that will help. What's that? The Sword of the Spirit. Sword of the Spirit? It's part of the full armour of God. Previously on Supernovas, we've talked about the shield of, of faith and the breastplate, breastplate of, of righteousness. righteousness. Yeah. That's for protection. Uh -huh. But the sword of the spirit is for attacking evil forces. says give your worries to God so if you talk to God about things that you are worrying about then he will help you by strengthening you wow it's so comforting to know that the Bible is there for our every need mm -hmm. but how can I remember that verse so I can tell my friends about it well once my friend Sean told me that actions can help us remember special verses okay shall we have a go yeah okay Let's do it so give give your your 
worries. Worries. To. To. God. God. And don't forget, Psalm. Psalm. 55. 55. 22. 22. I like it. Should we do that all together? Definitely. Are you ready, boys and girls? Give. Give your. your Worries to God. Psalm 55 22. That was really awesome good. Job. Give yourself a high five. High five. Oh, it's good to get our bodies moving to help us remember stuff. It's good to move our bodies in different ways. Mm. Which reminds me, it's, it's time, time to wiggle, wiggle with Nay. Wiggle time! So everybody up, 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 up. <gasps> okay, so today we're going to do a little bit of a routine. It's very short, it's very easy. You're just going to go up to the side, down to the side. Can you try that with me? Up to the side, down to the side. Try again. Up to the side, down. There you go. Up to the side, down to the side. Good job. Okay, so that seems easy. It's quite easy, but. It's going to get quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. So I wonder if we can do it. Do we think we can do it? We do? Okay, let's give it a go. We're going to start off really slowly, okay? Okay, we're going to start off really, really slowly, okay? So we're going to go up, side, down, side. Ready? because now it's time for our Supernova Sunday Showdown. I wonder who's going to win this week and who's going to get a pie in the face. It better not be me again. Three friends from across Grace Church. Hannah, teaching children by day, saving the world by night. Alice, the beat enthusiast with a passion for victory. Nay, she may be small, but she is determined to win. Join us each week as we find out who has what it takes to be victorious and who will face a humiliating defeat. Will it be Hannah, the superhero with a plan? Will it be Alice, the Robin Hood tribute? Or will it be Nay, the small but mighty warrior? Stay tuned to find out who will win this week's Supernova's Sunday Showdown! Last week was the epic donut eating challenge. Who can eat their donut in the quickest time without using their hands? It was a very windy day, which was a big issue for Nay, whose donuts kept hitting her in the face. Alice, on the other hand, made a strong start and managed to get some good bites out of her donut from the off. But her donut fell and crashed to the floor in a humiliating catastrophe. But Alice did not give up there. She ate her donut with her mouth and still managed to be victorious, claiming the title of the Supernova Sunday Showdown Champion. And Nay ended up with pie on her face. Who will win today's challenge? Stay tuned to find out. Girls, the contestants are looking pretty nervous. Let's explain the task for today. Now, in these huge vats of beans, we have at least three cans. They need to find the six Joe babies hidden within. They can only use their mouth, their teeth is, their teeth, teeth is, <laughs> and their face. They cannot use their hands. Then they need to spit them in their spit trays. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, stop laughing! This is great, boys and girls! 
If you want to ask your parents at home, I highly recommend it. They're gonna love it. Yes, this is getting more serious now. Heads in, heads out. I'm loving it. Let me just get my microphone out to ask them a few questions as they play this exciting, exciting game. Although their heads are very stuck in, so I imagine I'm them. Alice, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so great. I don't want to do this anymore. I think I might be sick. You're doing great, Alice. Keep it up. Let's pretend we're Nay. Nay, how are you feeling? Come on guys, you can do it, keep it up, keep it up. Come on boys and girls at home, keep training on your team. Is it going to be Team Manners? Wait, wait, wait. Is it going to be Team Nate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, four, four, it's even, it's tied. Four to each. Well done everyone at home, you're doing a great job cheering on your teams. Four to each, they only need to find two more. Only two more need to be found. Even Tevens, they're on five each. They only need to find one more. One more needs to be found. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> you need to find one more. Not yes! 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 Oh, oh. I'm so proud of you guys for zooming on your faces because that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, the fiend is running down. No, not okay. Not okay. What? Welcome back. I've let our contestants recover a little bit. They've had a slight wipe down to recover from their disgusting bean mess. And here is the pie that we are going to sadly crown on Alice's face. Uh, Nay, how are you feeling? Victorious! Oh, yes. yes, we're yes. proud! It was worth it just to see Alice get pied. Right, here we go, everybody. Nay, take your award. <laughs> here we go, everybody. Count down with me, boys and girls. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh, the wipe as well. And this is the chaos that is caused by Supernova Sunday Showdown. Bye, contestants. Bye, goodbye. Bye. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I wonder who'll be pied next week. You better log back on next Sunday to find out. Okay, so it's time for a craft. So let's head over to the Kichani family and find out how to make a sword of the spirit. So do you remember Eva? In our Bible, after Jesus comes and goes back up to heaven, there's a man called Saul, isn't there? And he goes yeah. around and he's really mean to all of Jesus' okay, followers. Okay, I'm going to try and find that guy. <laughs> okay, and then after that, God comes to speak to him and he loves God and he goes around and he tells everybody all about how amazing Jesus is. Do you remember? Yes, I remember that. And there's a bit in the Bible where Paul says something and he starts telling people about the, the, the mm -hmm. armour of God and he's helping yeah. people who love Jesus to be able to um, know him more. And here's one of the things that he says. Are you ready? He talks about all the different parts and he says that you should take the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God. And do you know what the word of God is? No. It's this. What's this? What book is this? Jesus. This is your Jesus book, that's right. And it's called a Bible. Bible. That's right. And so the word of God is our Bible. And he tells us to take up the sword of the spirit, which is another word for your Bible. So we are going to make a sword of the spirit today. Does that sound good? Yeah. Do you want to do that? All right, so I'm going to make it look really pretty. Of course you are. If this is so we need to cut out the sword shape with that, then we put that wrapping on it and stick stickers and different colouring on the top. I think that's a perfect idea. So what we're going to do, we need to have some cardboard. You can use any old cardboard that you have hanging around. We've got some tin foil for the sword part. And then over here, we've got lots of things to make 
decorations with, okay? So I'm going to cut out a sword shape to start with, okay? Yeah. But boys and girls, if you're old enough, you can do this yourself, and if you're not quite yet old enough, you can get Mummy or Debbie to help you. So we have here, hold on one second, the outline of our sword shape. And then can you cut along there and along there and make it pointy? Just pull you the Bible really, really well. It makes me able to go around and tell everybody about Jesus and about God and all the amazing things that He's done. He made everything. You're right. He made all of creation for us, didn't He? Mm -hmm. And if we know all of these things because we read our Bibles really regularly and we remember who God is, then it means we don't believe it when people say things like, "You're not worthwhile" and "You're no good." Because we know that God made us and we are so special and so precious. He loves us and he is good and kind and gracious to us. He forgives us when we do things that we shouldn't do. Even if we do things that we should do, does he love us? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Six things that God does for us. That's right. And there are so many more and we know these things because there must be one hundred. Oh my goodness, my darling, I think there are more than a hundred. What's the biggest number you can think of? One hundred and one hundred. This is my sword of the spirit. Ah. Well done, good job. High fives. Let's do it. A sword high five. A sword high five. Quit. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I've got the blue in my hat. Oh man. Oh, don't yeah. rub it on there, you <laughs> cheeky monkey. Definitely. I can't wait to make one for myself. And if you make one at home, please do share them with us. We'd love to see what you get up to. We have been so busy today with Jedi training and learning about the Sword of the Spirit. Definitely. And now it's time for some quieter time with God. So close your eyes and put your hands together. To concentrate and help us to be still. And let's hear some prayers. Hey Supernovas, I'm Holly and I'm from the Bogner site. I'm here to pray with you all, so let us pray. Dear God, I thank you for today. I thank you that even though we're not together, we can still worship you as a church. I thank you that you're always there through the good and the bad times. We can trust you and we know you are listening. I thank you for the gadgets that we have so we can message and call and FaceTime our friends and our families so we can know that they are well in these times. I thank you for the sun in that sky that even though sometimes we can see it and sometimes we can't because it's hidden behind a cloud that we still know it's there it's a lot like you Lord that we know you're there even though we can't see you I also
also thank you for the rain. <laughs> Where would we be without the rain? We would have no fruits or vegetables, no flowers, or no crops whatsoever. So, I thank you for the sun and the rain. And without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. I thank you, Lord, that you bind us all together as one family, one big church family, Lord. And I thank you for what you've done for us. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Thank you for giving Lego to us and Pumbo and eating chocolate. Amen. Thank you, God, for strong bodies. Thank you, God, for fun. Thank you, God, I love you. I pray to help people and and help the spirit. Thank you for the world and everything, God. Um, I love you. Thanks guys. It's really important to take a minute to be thankful for everything that God has done for us. Maybe it's little things like being thankful for your dinner. I'm always very thankful for my dinner. Or whether it's bigger things, it's really important. So maybe take a minute today and thank God for all the things he has done for you today and for your family. Right, before you go, wait, 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 we must do our memory verse challenge. Memory verse challenge. Give your worries to God. Psalm 55, 22. Well, boys and girls, we really hope you have enjoyed Supernovas Online this week. And don't forget to keep looking at the Bible with your family and friends so that you can be strengthened and supported in the days and weeks to come. Bye everyone, awesome. see you next Bye. week! Bye. We love you Supernovas! We love you Supernovas! We love you Supernovas! Have you heard how we gave his son? Cause I have found this love I believe in the sun Show me Hello, hope you're well, wish you well, stay safe, see you soon, bye! We love you Supernovas! 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 Yep, this is what happens. This is the aftermath of the bean Don't challenge. Big problem beans, Mike. Challenge. It was terrible.